Hey, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. And we have with us today Little Miss Pete and Jules. Hey, Pete. To your aunties and uncles. And uh, we're going to get her change out of her little pink for little New Year's slash snow outfit. And um, get her in another little outfit. Here we go. Got some jury. Post it her up. Get her on this outfit here. Just my little chunky monkey here. My little fat girl. Okay. And we not gonna change her because I got her in one of these little I got asked them if I think I got just about all the girls on one of these um the cloth diaper and this one say it's a girl on it. And I like these because they got the extra little pads so it helps them fill out their clothes a little bit more versus the regular pampers. I even bought the little micro for me a couple of them as well. But due to the fact that I have on my leopard gown that inspired me to put her on leopard today and i hope this gown coming down long enough on my legs if my legs are being shown in this video pull it down just and it's just like a venetian blind room right back up but anyway this um outfit i'm about to put her on is by amy cool the coe i mean coe I believe, and I don't know if that Kukoi or how you pronounce that. But, and this is three to six months. And it's the little leopard legging with the little gold buttons on it. And then it has the dress to go with it. Yeah. And we're going to just keep her on the socks that she has on. Because, unfortunately, I don't have black lace socks, so... I think I did have some beige ones. I'm, I'm not sure. And I hope this fit her because this look on the little smaller side. And see this one here got some big thighs. And one thing, just like Miss Dawn was saying in this her live chat last night with the silicone dolls with the when they have the little frog position, which a lot of the reborns have the same legs too. And when they wide apart and turn like this, it makes it kind of hard sometimes to get the clothes up on them nice. I'm just pulling her lace out the pants. That sort of beating of the embellishment on the side of the leggies can show. I tell you the truth, I probably should have said this say for Surrey because, like I said, they both can weigh the same size, but Surrey a little bit skinnier than she is. She weighs the size, but she's she on the thicker side. You know what? Let me take these bowls out of her here to make it easier for the dress to get over. Let me get the little basket. And 
And this outfit, I purchased this outfit from Once Upon a Child. And I got this entire outfit, pants, and the top for $3.50. <laughs> Just in case anybody wondering. Even though my kids got a lot of clothes, they don't, I don't spend no, well, no, nah, the name brand, some of the, like that, the Juicy Couture one, I think, of course, yeah, I spent the money for those, but these little off-brand things, I get these stuff right from Once Upon a Child. Now, if I'm out shopping in the store and I see something that I just feel they, they gotta have, then yeah, I'll pay regular price for them. But I do a lot of my shopping at the Once Upon a Child here in Charleston. But they have really nice, gently used, as well as new clothes for the babies. Well, let me set her up and if I can pull her dress down in the bag. I'm not sure if this is a dress or if this is a top. Take her down off the bobby to get her down so I can do her hair. That is her little outfit. Oh, wait a minute. I need to lay her down again. You know, let me put the bobby back up so she can be up a little higher for me. I like to take them down when I'm doing the hair, but I begin. I need to see which shoe looks better. She can put on these little leopard um, booties. And she got these black patent leathers with the bow on the back. And I got these from Once Upon a Child the other day. And, oops, that's the only thing I get for these shoes with the Velcro on it. They have the tendency to always stick to the socks. I'm trying to run my girl socks. I think I like the black one better than the leopards. What's the other black one? And they have the winter shoes and winter clothes. As long as they didn't have blue sticker, they were half off. And I believe these these shoes were either three fifty. $3.50 or $4.50 plus the percentage off of them, so they weren't that much at all. Okay. Alrighty. Now, all we need to do is get your hair done. I need to bake a bigger brush for your hair. I hope my legs in in this video. <laughs> this dog ain't coming down as long as I thought it was. <laughs> found out that there's three people waiting on the silicone um Dwayne I'm waiting on the silicone Carla and somebody actually was still on there waiting on the silicone Gabby Gale so as the where we all fall in line even though like I say mine is paid for I don't know when it's getting here In my mind, I keep saying it'll be here next week, but oh, that's just wishful thinking anyway. And I always um, let people know the thing that I spray on the, that I use on the hair is um, Downy Fabric Softener mixed with water. The, um, the liquid Downy with the yellow top. Not only do I use that mix with water for the hair, but that's the same thing 
that's in the bottle for the milk. I just been picking one out of here. I don't know how I got another one. I don't even know why I set that one there. And even though these are light pink and her um dress has the bright pink. The pillows are more of the bright pink. The dress I see a little undies don't show. We're gonna put the bright pink bowls on her here and hopefully that'll cover up yeah those rubber bands. And this matched the the sequins heart that's in the um the dress. And see it has the little polka dots and got the little pink elephant on it as well. But let me put Peyton back on a piece of jewelry. Oh, I mean, what is, she had a little darker pink one. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Her little arms. Is she big enough? We like to keep her with her little jewelry on and she loves her little bracelets and things. Yeah, she got a leopard with her mommy. Oh, let me stand you up. And these are the, the leopard pants. And to see the little shoes. Oh, if we didn't pull the lace socks out this one. Has the lace socks with the bowls on the back of the shoes. And her little dress. <laughs> and it didn't, um... Bohemian Doll Lover brought it to my attention. She said, Miss Earl like frozen ruffles. I'm sitting here so tickled looking at Pete because she's so frilly with her froze ruffles. <laughs> See, because patent leather, I just wish I'd be doing the most with these dolls. It's hard mess. But you got to have fun and love doing what you do. But anyway, this is little Miss Pete and Jules. With her little leopard outfit on. And I knew she's glad to get out of that little um, Christmas outfit when she was out there um, building her snowman. However, I heard that um, Wednesday we supposed to be getting the freeze and possibly snow might be coming back, are we? So, anyway, I pray we don't because we're not used to this. It, it just literally shuts out, set it down. We can get one, uh, snow flurry and all the bridges and roads closed and everything. But anyway, once again, this is Peyton, your girl Earl from Embracing Reborn. And I meant to tell everybody um, before I end this. When I say this your girl Earl, my name is Earlette. And I'm named after my father. But however, um, a lot of my patients have a hard time remembering my name because it's so long. So I started telling everybody to call me Earl for short. And all my family... And friends call me Earl, so just force a habit. So that's why I say this your girl Earl. But my real name is Earlette. But anyway, I wanted to throw that out there. But this is Earl and Peyton from Embracing Reborns. We hope everybody's having a blessed day. I hope y'all like her new little outfit. And I hope everybody is being safe and being blessed and stay warm in this cold weather. Thank y'all for stopping by. Bye.